Hello, everybody. Welcome to Men's with PJ. Today's date, August 19, 2016. Our discussion words are going to be persecutions and trials. Jeremiah 15:18. You have failed me in my time of need. You have let them keep right on with all their persecutions. Will they never stop hurting me? Your help is as uncertain as a seasonal mountain brook, sometimes a flood, sometimes as dry as a bone. Daniel 12, 10, many have purified by great trials and persecutions, but the wicked shall continue in their wickedness, and none of them will understand. Only those who are willing to learn will know what it means. In Mark, 10, 29-30, and Jesus said, Let me assure you that no one has ever given up on anything, home, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, children, or property, for love of me, and to tell others the good news, who won't be given back a hundred times over, homes, brothers, sisters, mountains, children, and land with persecutions. All these will be his here on earth, and in the world to come, he shall have eternal life. 2 Corinthians 12.10 Since I know it is all for Christ's good, I am quite happy about the thorn, and about insults and hardships, persecutions and difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The less I have, the more I depend on him. God will protect us from persecution when we are obedient to him. Our trials and persecutions will be purified, while those living wickedly will be destroyed. Jesus asks us to love him and tell others the good news, and he will provide for us 100 times and our promised eternal life. For many years, Paul felt the persecution of a thorn. He even asked God to remove the thorn from him three times. But God said, no, my grace is sufficient and gave him the strength to continue and to share the gospel to the Gentiles. Bring your trials and persecutions to God, and he will answer. Bring you comfort and help you. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed.